All right, so for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I normally don't get triggered about stuff, and I can let things roll off my back and be cool the next day. But I've been stewing about this since I read it last night, and I've already posted it on Instagram and tweeted it out and stuff like that. Man, I don't even know what to say anymore. This cultural Marxist dogma has embedded itself so deep in our institutions that it has now popped up as a display in the African American History Museum in our nation's capital. First of all, this is the African American History Museum, and yet the topic of discussion here is white culture. And not only that, the conversation is being spearheaded by a white person. You cannot make sense of this, guys. This is this is just beyond wicked. These people never cease to reach a new low. I mean, the, the very idea that you would associate almost everything positive that's universally known to be positive with white people says exactly what about people who aren't white. I mean, this, this sounds like a white supremacist wrote this. Someone who actually sees himself as supreme, as better than other people. And coincidentally, that's exactly what this is. So check this out. These are the... I guess traits you would call them that they associate with whiteness and white culture and anybody who adopts this has settled in to the idea that white people are the best okay so check this out rugged individualism the idea that you can do for yourself that you're self-reliant that you can you know be on your own you can be independent the family structure okay Two-parent household, mother, father, two to three kids, four-bedroom house, white picket fence, whatever. The Protestant work ethic, the idea that you work before you play, you take pride in your work, that you get what you earn, you don't work, you don't eat. Isn't this sounding crazy to you guys right now? But I'm going to keep going. Rational thinking and the scientific method, the idea that you can be sane, rational, logical, pragmatic. They're associating this with whiteness. Status, power, and authority. You know, climbing the ranks, uh, leaving behind a legacy, building for the future, leaving something behind for your dependents, or your descendants, rather. Future orientation and delayed gratification versus instant gratification. You know, saving your money, putting it into a mutual fund or rolling it into an investment versus buying something that depreciates in value. Again, they're associating this with whiteness. I have no idea why, but putting it in the African American History Museum is just it's just wicked, guys. What else? Aesthetics. Aesthetics and health. The idea that your appearance and taking care of yourself is seen as a whiteness thing. You know, the Barbie, blonde hair, blue eyed idea. Because apparently beauty and taking care of yourself and having a nice body and figure and living a long life is associated with whiteness. Christianity, Judeo-Christian values, the single God concept. And then competition, the last one, competition. The, what they call false dichotomy of winners and losers is created by white people. And that's a white cultural phenomenon or something. Okay, so let's get into this a little bit. What does this say about what this, this thing, what they think of black people, what they think of Asian people? I mean, why would they associate any of this specifically with white people and not an individual? You, first of all, you shouldn't be associated with anybody of any race because any individual can have this mindset. In fact, are they not aware of Japanese culture? Asian culture is very much about the family unit and independence and work ethic. I mean, do we need to really go back to like the Re the Greeks and the Romans and the Egyptians for religion and status and uh, science and all that stuff? I mean, this is just, it's crazy, man. And, and to put it in the African American History Museum is just, it just demonstrates the soft bigotry of low expectations. They literally, in the most literal sense, guys, they think black people are weak, stupid, and dumb. They don't think that we're smart enough to do things on our own. They think that if we do do things on our own and if we do make a success for ourselves, then that means we've accepted and submitted to white culture. 
white culture means that you want to be independent and have a nuclear family that's crazy that's crazy and it's just it's just bigotry and racism right in your face and i just can't take it anymore these people are so wicked these wicked deceivers are leading people of all races down the wrong path because kids go to museums they learn things so to have something like this embedded in our institutions especially a black american history museum we're not gonna call it african american black american if you were born here and you're black you're an american period enough of this hyphenated marxist dogma these 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 uh, hyphenated separatist terminology i'm sick of it man black americans the Black American History Museum having a display talking about white culture and attributing everything that makes someone successful, happy, healthy, um, is is associated with white people is not only a slap in the face to black people to put it in the museum, but it says that you think black people are inferior and that if they want to achieve things, if they want to be successful, if they're ambitious, if they're go-getters, if they're rational thinkers, if they have faith in God, and they don't need handouts or dependents from the government that they're somehow adopting white culture this is just insane guys but i i, I don't want to talk in circles uh i want you guys to check this out i'm going to post a link of it in the description sound off in the comments let me know what you think like share subscribe follow me on the social media accounts let's continue exposing these real bigots, these cultural Marxists, these people that are tearing down our institutions, dividing us along gender lines, racial lines, political lines, uh, for their own for their own gain ultimately, because these are essentially white people that see themselves as superior. They literally have an, a vested interest in people having an inferiority complex. They see themselves as intellectually superior to black people and morally in, morally superior to uh, white conservatives, if I said that correctly. They see themselves as intellectually superior to all the other races, but then morally superior to any white person that disagrees with them. These people are wicked, man. Again, God bless you guys. Thank you for supporting this channel. Follow me on the social media accounts, except for Facebook. I'll catch you guys in the next video.